What's up, everybody? Today's lesson is on writing and evaluating algebraic expressions. All right, let's get it cracking. First, let's talk about what we mean by algebraic expression. An algebraic expression is a numerical sentence that contains at least one variable along with some numbers. Here's a couple random examples of algebraic expressions, something like 6x plus 20 or 100 minus 25m. These are what we call algebraic expressions. So when we talk about writing and evaluating algebraic expressions, we mean that we'll first write an algebraic expression and then to evaluate it, we'll substitute a value in for the variable and figure out what that expression equals. So let's talk about what an expression represents in terms of real life situations. The part that goes with the variable is almost always the rate or multiplier. And the part that has that doesn't have a variable, it's called the constant. And it usually comes in uh, some form of given or starting amount. So let's look at a couple examples for writing and evaluating expressions. So I've gotten dragged into the world of Fortnite, so uh, here we go. Mr. Clark buys 200 V-Bucks per week and his account started with 100 V-Bucks. Write an algebraic expression to represent this. So 200 V-Bucks per week, that word per almost always tells you what goes with the variable because it's a rate or multiplier. So we'll write 200W, which stands for the 200 per week. And then I started with 100, so that's my constant or my given amount. And since I'm getting more and more bucks each week, we'll add them together. So my expression is 200W plus 100. Now, if I ask how many bucks will I have after five weeks, this turns into evaluating the expression. So I know it's five weeks and I can substitute the five for my variable W, and then we multiply 200 times five, which gets us a thousand. And then we add 1000 plus 100, which gives me the answer of 1100 V bucks. Let's look at a couple more examples. Kiera has $200 saved in her piggy bank and allows herself to spend $15 a week. How much money will she have after four weeks? We're told she already has $200, so that's her given an amount or the constant. Then we're told she spends $15 per week, per again telling us that that's the rate that goes with the variable. Since she's spending and losing her money, we'll subtract the $15 per week. So our expression is 200 minus 15W. Now to figure out how much money she'll have after four weeks, we substitute four for our variable and we get 200 minus 15 times four, which gives us 200 minus 60, and that equals $140. So she'll have $140 after four weeks. One last example. Hot Takis cost $2.24 per bag, and Tostitos cost $2.59 per bag. If you bought two bags of Hot Takis and three bags of Tostitos, how much would it cost? So first we're gonna write an algebraic expression. We know Hot Takis cost $2.24 per bag, so we can write 224H to represent hot takis. And then Tostitos cost 259 per bag, so we can write 259T. And since we're trying to find the total, we'll add those together. Now we can substitute the number of bags that we know. So we got two hot takis and three Tostitos. So we get 224 times two plus 259 times three. And we can evaluate this, so we figure out what those equal. So 224 times two is 448, 259 times three is 777, and then we can add them together. We get our total of $12.25. So remember, when writing algebraic expressions, we look for the rate that goes with the variable, and the starting amount is the constant, and we can substitute a value um, for the variable to evaluate and find an answer. Thanks for watching. Peace out.